Hi, this tutorial will show you how to add an image to a Joomla article. And so I already logged into the basicjoomla.com site here and I have uh, a new article started. I've just pasted in this text, typed out how to add an image to a Joomla article, pasted it over and over, made some paragraphs. And, and now we're ready to insert an image. Now I use JCE Editor on my websites. It's, uh, it's an extension that you can add and some of the plugins are by subscription but they work so well and are so awesome for uh, working on the articles. Uh, I, uh, I use them on all, all my sites. So to begin with uh, inserting an article we want to pick where we're going to put it. So why don't we put the uh, image at the beginning of this second paragraph. So I'm going to click right in there and next we want to go to the image editor or insert edit image button and we're going to click on that. When we open it it's going to show us uh, all of the files in the image folder on our Joomla install including uh, folders that we have created in that. So if you already have the image on the server you could just go into one of these folders and find it wherever you've got it and if it's this image you can select it. It puts the code up in the URL, you can put alternate text that helps with search engines and gives you information on the image. Now this is not the image that I want to use in this tutorial. I actually want to uh, uh, upload one. So I'm going to click and go back to the root folder here um, or we could even click on root there and uh, now we're going to insert, uh, we're going to upload the image to the server. Now when you upload an image to the server, it will upload to the folder that you are show, that you are viewing. So right now we're viewing root. So if I was to upload this new image, it would uh, go into the root folder. But I want to be a little more organized than that because if you, once you start getting tons of um, folders, uh, tons of images in one folder, it gets really hard to, uh, to use those eventually over time. So I'm going to first of all create a folder for this image. You don't need a folder for every image, but uh, it's a picture of a dog that I'm going to upload. So I, I'm just going to create a new folder by clicking on this button right here, new folder. And I'm going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it dogs and click OK. And now I have the dogs folder and if I click on that, it shows that it's empty, but that's great because we're going to upload something to it now. The next button uh, to, that we're going to use here is this uh, upload button. Click upload and basically it gives me the chance to drag files into that box out of another folder on my computer so that they'll be uploaded or I can browse my computer in order to upload the picture as well uh, to find where it is. And I'm going to use browse because drop files doesn't always work on every computer but this one always does work. So I uh, click browse and I'm going to be shown the image on my uh, on my computer that I want to upload. So for instance, uh, I already have it here in a folder called delete an image tutorial and here's a picture of a dog on a roof. It's saved just as the number that I downloaded it. But as you see here, this I can go to other places on my computer, to my documents, to uh, a picture that's, full, that's stored here, or wherever the image is, that's where I want to go in order to upload it. So I'm just going to click that once and then I could click open or I can double click and there we are. It shows the image ready to be uploaded. There's an X there, meaning I could delete that if I change my mind. And um, if uh, and there's the potent that's the name of the file there and how big it is. Now if I wanted, I could uh, go and browse and select some other images and upload a bunch all at once. Now of course, uh, because I'm uploading to the dogs folder, I would only want to upload images that I wanted in the dogs folder. It won't automatically sort where you uh, want them to go. But I just have this one image to upload and so uh, I'm going to do that. But first, um, I don't like this name, these numbers. That's not going to make any sense to me down the road on the server. So I'm going to uh, click this button here to rename that file. And I'm just going to say dog and I'm going to go dash on roof. Now I don't use spaces in file names because it can create problems down the road and uh, because the space will end up being a percentage to zero 
in the file name sometimes and then that creates problems on computers when you download them or try to back uh, update them to a, a backup service so I use a, a dash you might also want to use an underscore dog on roof because uh, that might actually be better for search engines some search engines might see these as separate words uh, and and not, not the uh, the underscore just as a, as a space and a character all right so dog on roof will name it that I'm just gonna click outside you can also to rename a file just click right on it and it will um, this will give it a new uh, name as well what we've just done so this file is going to be uploaded as dog on roof dot jpeg now now uh, you notice that it is two megabytes in size this uh, picture and I, I don't want it that big I don't I don't need it that big that's I think the original is a couple thousand pixels wide uh, at the biggest I think I'll choose for this article for a site the biggest I would want is 600 and for me 640 you decide on your template and how big that you want an image upload it uh, now if you're doing something where you want the image to appear uh, small and someone can click on it and it will open up in a much larger light box then you may want to upload it bigger and maybe you want to leave it two megs in size in which case you could just you know not check re resize but I'm going to resize this on the upload and I'm just going to pick um, I'm going to say I want this picture the only time I'm going to use it the biggest I want it to be is 300 pixels wide all right now 300 wide as soon as I hit tab this 480 will change to something else 225 and um, that uh, that's good now if you want to create a thumbnail we can mouse over and see there um, it will create you, you can create a thumbnail and give it a width and you can also tell it to crop to fit um, with uh, so that it force it to be the dimensions that are here instead of being resized um, I don't really do much with thumbnails but that is an option for there for you to explore the JCE editor anyway so now the image is 300 we're set to resize to 300 wide dog on the roof name so I'm just gonna click upload so we we'll wait here it's just gonna zoom along it's a large picture it's uploading and then it's going to get resized and we'll know that everything is done when this bar has gone across and we get to go ahead with the green check mark here I think it's a green check mark or maybe it says okay it's fully uploaded getting resized a check mark and now there it is we see dog on roof ready to uh, select and there's a dimensions 300 by 199 so I'm going to click on that and there's the uh, puts in the URL that's going to appear inside the coding for the article alternate text again um, if this can help with search engine results so you could put type something in there description of of the uh, of the dog on the roof and I'm and I'm just going to leave it like this for now and click insert now there's the image and if I were to finish putting a title and categorize this article I could save it and and uh, the page would appear on the site where I wanted to but you notice that it's not wrapping it's got this big huge uh, space here and the reason that it's not wrapping is because we didn't give it an alignment so uh, here I've clicked off the picture if you ever want to go back and edit a picture then you can just click on it and then go up to the uh, insert edit image button click on that and you'll go back to the to the options for this image now you see right here we have alignment and it's not set and we have this preview of how the uh, picture would interact with the text in the article so I'm going to set that to a left alignment and as soon as I do you'll see the preview it shows it's going to be on the left hand side and uh, but I notice here that these words are right up against the right hand margin so I want to put a little bit of a buffer there so I'm going to uh, at the right hand I like putting in 10 pixels you can experiment with what you like I'm going to put in 10 as soon as I hit tab it's going to adjust the preview and that gives me sort of a, a bit of a space there and, a, and I like that so um, you can play around with other alignments and other settings in here and that will um, uh, allow you to have what you want in your um, in your article so I've got things wrapped like that now I've set it so let's go update and there we go there is the image the text wrapping around it 
and uh, if that's if that was the article and I was happy with it I could save that and the changes would show up on the site there's lots of other options in here uh, to explore and I'll leave that for another time uh, another tutorial but you can uh, basically see how to manage uh, how to upload an image and to insert it into an article here if uh, you ever did want to um, remove that picture from your server if you've not used it in any other articles you could always just check the box and you have some other options here delete um, rename other things that you can do but this basically is how to insert an image and that will get you going on that task for your site so I hope that was helpful uh, if it was why not give the video a thumbs up and, or subscribe to the channel and uh, enjoy working on your sites God bless